Okay, what we're doing here is we've got a bottle of water that we're going to show you the temperature on. Um, Dad, go get the temperature probe. And I'm holding on to a boiling flask of water, which uh, should tell you that it's probably below 212. Can you get that, uh, Tim? 123. 123 degrees. And what is our? 116. 116. So we have uh, 8, 9 degree, less than 10 degree difference. And I am able to get the water to boil out of this 123 degree container and condense in this current container. Uh, what's the temperature outside here? Can you take one of the sidewalk? Where are we at? 39, 39 degrees. So obviously our, our, our heat sink, we've got a 40 degree temperature differential outside. So we've got about 80 degrees between the hot bottle and the, and the potential heat sink. And of course, uh, this bottle, take the temperature right here on this bottle. 112. 112 now. What's this again? Isn't it clear? Yeah. I'll tell you it again. It says 119 right now. What's going on? You have to hold it down. 116. So we're losing temperature rapidly because it is in fact boiling. Boiling is a, um, a, a an evaporational cooling. So we're taking water that is, and this is just regular water, we are taking water that is uh, below atmospheric obviously or it wouldn't boil and we're pulling the heat out of it and we're now the potential for this and the reason this is important is that anybody that has solar uh, heating that at the moment can only heat water with it has the ability to in fact turn a turbine and could generate electricity with steam which is in fact what water vapor is even though this steam is below atmospheric pressure it's the differential pressure that we're interested in so this is the concept and that is why we are working on a low pressure turbine because here I have probably about uh, 15 to 20 inches of mercury roughly divide that by two you've got about um, 7 to 10 pounds of differential pressure um, now of course inside this bottle the pressure is exactly the same and the flow is the boiling vapor which expands at 1700 times and that takes 1150 BTUs roughly out of the hot and into the cold in order to condense it that's the latent heat but there's the concept just a little toy for somebody if you want to try it don't burn yourself um, but uh, nice toy that'll do it